Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about what is new in this update because there's a ton of stuff to cover as usual. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is of course the keyword. The keyword is ARCS, all in capital, underscore, Oji-san underscore rescue so once you type that you're going to press escape you're going to go to your systems over here go get campaign items receive item account and you'll see right here david plays ngs we get 50 star gems as well as the grand cross nt so as you can see the grand cross nt is a weapon camo for your soaring blades they look really badass so uh, make sure that you actually save them again if you don't want them you can always sell them on the market they're not going for a lot because well everyone got it for free from the keyword now, while we're on the topic of our free campaign items, don't forget that we also get compensation for the Battle Arena bug over here. So we do get 20 star gems over here. Now, this was a bug in the base game because in base PSO2, we do have PvP. Um, so there was a bug with the queuing system. So uh, yeah, basically they're giving us 20 star gems over here. And for any of my NGS official content creators, you also get your rewards over here as well. Now, if you are subscribed to the NGS newsletter, make sure to check your email because we actually got a code. So you need to go to item codes over here and type in the code. Remember, the code is a one-time use, so you can't share the code with your friends or anything. It is bound to your account or, you know, whoever uses it first will get credit of all those items. And then after you input that code, the items will go to operation team storage down here. You'll get 3N EXP earn plus 25%, 3N rare drop rate plus 25%, as well as the mag form tails doll. Now, um, I already have the Tails doll, and if anyone was around for Sonic's birthday, you should have this Magform device already, but nevertheless, it's free stuff, so I'm picking it up. Now, the unfortunate thing about the Magform Tails doll is if you have it already, you can't sell it. It is uh, not tradable on the personal shop, so um, yeah, there's that. The next thing I want to talk about is a new event and campaign, which is the Treasure Scratch. They actually added this in as the servers went live yesterday, so I didn't cover it in yesterday's video. But basically, there is a new special scratch which will last for about a month. As you can see over here, it starts from August 9 and will go all the way till September 6th. And as we can see from the Treasure Scratch over here, there are a ton of fabulous prizes. You can get augment protections, you can get a lot of really cool stuff. You can get personal shop pass three days, augment item protection, salon free pass, and color change pass there's a ton of really nice stuff gigas mass day the regular gigas mass days not lc variants you can get hal finales there's a lot of really really cool stuff that you can get over here so it is a very nice scratch however that isn't the main attraction of the treasure scratch the treasure scratch main attraction is going to be the scratch count bonus over here so when you scratch 15 times you get the pristine force weapon camo and more importantly after 90 scratches you get the nebulous weapon camo over here which applies to all weapons except Except for the harmonizer so sorry wakers unfortunately this doesn't apply to you guys but it does apply to every other weapon which is really awesome and if you scratch a hundred times you get the sg legacy coordination badge for poses so you can use this to exchange for any of the old sg poses for free which is really really nice but of course we need to address the elephant in the room and that is how on earth do we obtain these tickets is it just like an ac scratch where we have to spend money again but no this is actually a fully free to play way to get these tickets Tickets, all you need to do is play the game. So the first method to obtain these tickets is simply complete your dailies. As you can see here in your dailies, clear quest 1, clear quest 2, clear quest 3. All you need to do is clear a total of three quests. They can be any type of quest, by the way. They can be side quests, they can be weeklies, they can be limited time quests, they can be dailies, they can be Leah Maze quests, they can literally be any single quest. As long as you complete three of them, you get three treasure scratch tickets every single day. So you are guaranteed three treasure scratch tickets every single day simply by logging in and let's say you complete your dailies. Your dailies is five tasks by itself already, so automatically you're gonna clear all three of these quests and get Get three tickets however it doesn't end there you also get tickets by participating in urgent quests so whenever an urgent quest comes up dark falls interception battle of halfia lake remnants of ambition as well as each mining rig defense quest can reward you up to two tickets per try and the best thing is because of this campaign you can actually do urgent quests twice so let's say that you do remnants of ambition once you complete the first run you get your first two tickets you can run it again and get another two tickets so basically every time an urgent quest pops up it's almost a guarantee that you get four treasure scratch tickets which is absolutely amazing 
And to help the runs go even faster, all enemies will have their HP reduced by 30%. So this is super, super nice. So I highly recommend people to take advantage of this event. And the best part about all of this is this event actually lasts from August 9 all the way till September 6. So again, it's also going to last almost an entire month. So please take advantage of this because they literally give you a schedule over here. Now they don't give you the entire month schedule. They do it week by week. So we do have to wait until May sense to see next week's schedule. But as you can see over here, they have the schedule laid out for you already. So the A's over here means that it is an urgent quest. As you can see, urgent quest is guaranteed to occur. While the B's is an urgent quest will always occur 30 minutes after the live concert. So B's are concerts, A's are urgent quest. But remember, right after a concert, we always have an urgent quest on top of that. So you can take advantage of this schedule to plan accordingly. Now this schedule does auto convert to your local time zone. So I'll leave the link in the description below. So just plan accordingly and please take advantage of this because this is a lot of free scratch tickets and there's a lot of really nice items in this scratch. And even if you have the worst luck possible, at the very least, you are guaranteed a bunch of rewards over here as these are the scratch count bonuses, which means you scratch two times, you're guaranteed a special scratch ticket, scratch five times, you're guaranteed 20 star gems, so forth and so on so you want to work your way through this so that you can get your sg legacy coordination badge pose over here i'm pretty sure if you do everything you're going to get way more than 100 scratch tickets since you're guaranteed three every single day so even if you don't do any of the urgent quests you're going to get like 90 of these tickets so that is quite a lot already so just run a couple extra urgent quests and you are bound to hit the 100 tickets over here very very easily the next thing they've updated is of course the mission pass we are now at ngs season 23 so there's a bunch of goodies now they've actually changed some of the rewards they are actually giving dominas out instead of uh, the notes which is a very nice change so before they actually gave you like Stia notes, A, B, C, and D, and you had to pick. Now they are straight up giving you Kavaris Dominas and Stia Dominas. So it is much, much nicer. We also have a motion glide over here. So this is the charged motion glide, which is pretty cool. Very electric type of theme. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of really nice items over here. So make sure that you do pick all of them up. The next thing they added is, of course, Sign of the Planet Breaker. I'm sure some of you guys have seen yesterday's video already. Yesterday was a double upload because I did clear this. So as you can see over here, first clear reward, we do get the VG Aina as well as the VG Man on 3D. So for those who are wondering what this is, it's actually a graphic for your HP bar over here. So you want to go to Personal, go to Vital Gauge Design, and right here you can see that you get the Aina as well as the Man on HP bar thing over here. So it changes how your HP graphic looks. So that is what those VGs are. Now, Sign of the Planet Breaker is definitely considered end game content. I do not recommend this content for the average player. Only players who are actually looking for a challenge should do this content. Even if you do barely hit the minimum requirement of 3,750 battle power, does not guarantee that you will clear it. The main reason for this is because, first of all, you only have 15 minutes to clear the boss. So there's a lot of DPS checks. So you do need damage. And second of all, there is a death limit. If you die five times or more as a team, it automatically fails the quest. So it is incredibly punishing. However, it's part of the challenge. So if you are a regular player or a casual player, I do not recommend this content. This content is not for you. This is for the people who want to challenge themselves, which have maxed out gear already, or has really good gear and wants to challenge themselves and see how far they can actually progress through this game mode. Something I want to make crystal clear about this game mode is the loot itself is pretty god awful. So if you're going in here with the sole purpose of like, oh, I'm going to be farming this to get Tisha weapons, or I'm going to be farming this to get whatever XYZ loot, you will be sorely disappointed. This is really just for the hardcore or the end game players which are looking for a challenge, looking for something to get the satisfaction of being like, oh yes, I beat the hardest content available in the game. That's really all this game mode is for. So if you're going in thinking, oh, this is where you farm for the best gear, um, that's not really true. It's not going to reward you. You're going to suffer a lot. You're going to beat it and you're going to be very, very disappointed as you get like two golden prim swords or something. So basically, don't do this content if all you care about is loot. But if you do like the challenge and you want the satisfaction of beating something incredibly hard, then this is definitely the game mode for you. 
And last but not least, I do want to address the elephant in the room for the uncle from Another World Scratch. There is no voice tickets. I know a lot of people are very disappointed in it. I personally am disappointed as well. I was really hoping I could get uncle's voice and just run around and sound like an absolute troll. But unfortunately, that is not the case. But Sega did make something for us, which can take the sting away just a little bit. And that is a video on their official YouTube channel. I will leave the link to this video in the description below. It is called Uncle from Another World World plays NGS in our official collab. So they actually got the JP voice actor for this entire video. Well, there's a couple special guests, so I won't ruin it for you. Uh, just watch this video. It is incredibly funny. It is like a sales pitch for NGS, sort of, but it's just really funny because the uncle is narrating the entire thing. So um, yeah, I highly recommend watching this. Obviously, I do wish we did get the voice tickets in game, but you know, this is second place. It's better than nothing, in my opinion. And I was very, very amused by watching this. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.